friends to kuobi good morning to you anywhere you are watching this video if it is your first time of coming across this wonderful platform linda's tv show you are highly welcome if you like the kind of content we create here kindly subscribe put on your notification bell to all notification this will enable you to know when we upload a new video here we react to all forms of videos. We inform, educate, sanitize the members of the public about what is happening in the globe. And I seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube. You guys are so wonderful for creating and managing this platform that we are using to disseminate information to the members of the public. And at the same time, I put a disclaimer here in Linda's TV show. We do not promote misleading information, hate speech, violence, or trying to instigate war. I do not like those things, so I can never promote them in this platform. A call for self-determination is never a call for war. Please take note of that. My wonderful people, you guys should take time and watch this video. Don't miss a bit of this video. This information is so interesting, it's so surprising, it's so amazing. Omo <laughs> Nigerian government so those people that will come here and tell me uh, you are wasting a lot of time you are wasting your data please this is my platform this is my house you cannot come to my house and tell me what to do i must introduce the video that i want to show you I must express myself. Ah ah, mother girl, no kwabe ya no be a kwampera mo ya because up roko no wo no. If you want to listen to my voice to see my face, na iru mano mano. Ah see, so ochina tome zoku ugo ebere na namba wo. Two days ago, I saw in Point newspaper that Nigerian government declared our one and only prime minister wanted and others omo ngonka ntia zin dan 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 da ha ma do shi mi ha na egu ifa agba si de kan putakwara the prime minister obato bie obato bie kan tu ogi ka dan de bu dan de gede asu oke o deputasi afa ndinine ya nwa nwa ntro otine jo ni sinke na chi nigeria nse eh hehehe egu ese tie nukwa aka na chi nokita so my great people <laughs> ima asi enwe inu na na ta asi ene ni anwe ite obonye oku they think that prime minister is nobody just like they called him before they said that thing that is berima that short thing o gono ga bo kwa nwa me to na nwa ndi afu ha to 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 iche na nwa ri fe no ha ni me ha kwu kwu de ke be nwa won ye na ekwu kwu o gono go abo ho gane nwa me to ne o ye la dokwa gane ishi o ye the prime minister di ishi o ma ife he is organized articulated intelligent o be ona atiri go chi it is not to get on that to get on that to Hey, Nene and Nvidia, there is one man that answered them. You are going to watch two interesting video in this particular video. That's why I say you should watch it to the end. One man, Sarah, huh? Ima, 
Mufodi <laughs> Bia even done as her way to get that elite. Or this is a itty body bony agaho school, Kahama, because they don't reason, even when the thing is showing. They kidnap Mazen now, they cannot for the purpose of stopping Biafra a restoration. Now, their reason of uh, capturing or kidnapping Mazen now, they cannot. Prime Minister have made it to be useless. It's not useful again. Now they have seen that they cannot defeat these people. Biafra is a spirit. You cannot quench it. Instead of them to be looking for a way, although we have gone far, one is in Mekotarism rather than Biafra restoration. Hakanaga. Oh, innocent people, not dear. Let us watch this video. Please contribute. Criticize with fat. Share this video. Like the video. For you to be watching this video means you like it, right? Then like. It doesn't remove anything. Subscribe. It doesn't remove your data. Like in the in the scene and Nigeria neighbor kwa data one say you are consuming my data. I know send you. If you don't like my platform, bra bagin poe here. So let us watch and God will bless you. Good afternoon, Mr. Rafumbechi. Good afternoon. Now look at uh, the response of Samalepa. The court of Nigeria Development had declared about um, 97 persons wanted. And Samalepa featured prominently where he was number one on the list. Aye. We understand that he's in Finland. And we probably understand that Nigerian government do not have a solution treaty with Finland. Yeah. We understand that Nnamdi uh, Kalu was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya to Nigeria. Yeah. We don't know whether that is saying they want to follow, but let us look at the reaction of Samanepa. Um, Tribune Online reports that Samanepa said he is going to release his own wanted list. Do you think he has the capacity to do that? Yes, he has the capacity to do that. That boy or that man, because they are looking down on him, that's why I'm calling him that boy. They are, they are thinking he's a small boy. That man is working with Finland military. Finland military. I listen to me. He was a soldier there and he's a retired soldier now. I think he's working as a senator, lawmakers in Finland, Finland now, in the government of that country. So actually, if it happened that he has criminal vein, criminality in his vein at all, I think that advanced country would have known even better than Nigeria know him. They would have known him better than Nigeria knows uh, Simon Eva. So let me tell you, Simon Eva is a brilliant soldier. I think he will come out with his, you know, uh, list currently of the people that are constituting insurgency. I think understand in Nigeria, both in the north and in the south. So this time around it is vice versa. If other government could have put somebody of that government, you know, level, that is on that level of you know, in that kind of rise of a violent crime, uh, sponsoring crime in his native country or native home. I think that accusation is very expensive. And on the other hand, we should begin to check the brains of our leaders in Nigeria. These people are just doing another thing. They are there without charisma. They are there without anything that you know defines them as good leaders. Some of them would not have been at all. How could they have done, you know, giving such accusation, level such accusation on that young man? That allegation is wrong. It's too wrong. But we you think about wrong. how it takes to be clear people wanted and you carry out the Yes, right? yes. Is an, uh, Samaba is an intelligent officer, Finland officer, or a military officer in Finland. I think he knows everything about Nigerian security. Uh, uh, yeah, he's not on uh, No, you know it. He knows it. No, I know he's not on ground in Nigeria. How can he now declare people want He reads and reads every day. He's on social media 24 hours. He's the second man in this agitation, you know, uh, 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 business to Nam the Kano. Everything about Nigeria is on his fingers. He can do that. He knows us too well. And you should know that, first and foremost, he was a Nigerian man from a boy state, one of the southeastern states of the federation. Samaba is a Nigerian before he naturalized and in Finland. He knows this country too well. But what I'm looking at is if he goes ahead to declare some persons wanted. Yes. There are many have, of them. Does he have to take and force it? What are, why, why are you saying? If, what are you saying? If UAE could have what it takes to label allegations on some Nigerians and brought their list that they sponsor uh, yes, I need uh, to enforce it. Or they need to arrest and no, 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 no. To arrest and prosecute, he's going to do it in his way. That is maybe 
in the southeastern Nigeria where he has, you know, that kind of upper hands in security. I think you understand. So Baba Singh is is there from the Biafra Liberation Army. He can do that in the southeast. And let me tell you, if it matters most, what he's saying is stipulating that he has the audacity to, to do it in the Nigerian nation too. Because the unknown government, you don't know who are constituting or non government. I'm telling you, assassins has no address. They have they have no office. Assassins have no address, addresses. They don't have offices. So anybody coming out with claim like that, you should respect him. I think he has what he takes. He can do it. He worked with, with Finland, the uh, Finnish uh, film military. He was once a film military officer. Now he's working there as a, one of their lawmakers. But I'm not worried that federal government may collaborate with Finnish government to bring the Samaripa back to Nigeria. Yeah, Even as Nigeria do not have a extradition treaty with no, uh, Finland. No, a tradition, a tradition treaty with Finland is not where na, uh, uh, Simon Epper No, but I mean, I'm talking on the part of Nigerian government. Are you not worried that they could collaborate with Finnish government to bring back uh, Simon Epper? What are you saying? Somebody that is one of their military personnel who knows everything about themselves, remember he's under their payrolls and again, their own citizen. Finnish or Finland, Finnish government or Finn government can never, ever do that. Finnish president is not Nigerian president. Their lawmakers are not National House of Assembly. It is not possible. It is impossible. It can't happen. They can't never, ever extradite Simon Epa back to Nigeria. No, I don't believe it. Finnish, Finland is one of the most advanced countries of the world now. I'm talking to you. More developed than Britain. Finland is more advanced than USA. There are many things happening in, in, in America that can never happen in Finland. They are well planned. One of the most advanced countries, Scandinavian countries. Those people are wonderful. They are not hungry. They are not best. A day, a Finn or Finnish can never work in England or in America. They are not hungry. But I know they are not even up to six million people. They are five million. Well developed. Let me talk to you. Finland has already prepared for themselves. But if it happens that these nuclear weapons of 18 or anything could happen to the earth today, they will go underground. But the question I want to say, they are more advanced than any country. How come? Um, an individual in Nigeria, and a lawyer, I'm talking about someone that was uh -huh. able to buy into the support of Finland that in favor of his um, agitation. That is what grace of God can do. You are asking us if you are not a Christian anymore. Grace of God can buy you heaven. Grace of God can buy you eternity. There's nothing grace of God cannot do. See, Simon Epa was a Nigeria once. After when he japa, he became a Finland citizen. And Finland doesn't play with their citizen they take care of their citizens he works there as a there as a military officer are you, are you listening to me so they pamper him as their citizen they are not Tinubu. they can never be buhari i mean their presidents can never be like Tinubu or buhari and that country finland will never be degenerated to the level of nigerian nation no they are above nigeria they are more sophisticated more advanced and more developed and advanced than Nigeria. They are moving forward into advancement in technology on daily basis. Don't you hear me earlier? I said where the whole citizen of Finland could happen, they go there underground if there was anything, any threat like nuclear weapon being released in the air, which is a threat to the earth. They prepare themselves that they are going to do what? Take shelter underground. I'm telling you, they are more okay. advanced than Nigeria more educated than Nigeria, more developed than Nigeria. Nigeria can never be like Finland. Now, on the final note, if you were to advise Simon Epa, what would be your advice? Simon Epa is my brother. I praise God for him. I pray for him. I always worship God for Simon Epa. I thank God for what Epa is doing. On his behalf, I say, God, I thank you for Epa. God, I bless Epa for me. Epa is a second man. The man says, MNK Nam the Kano. What Epa is doing is what Nandi Kano is doing. Epa is doing what every heart, every woman's heart wants. We appreciate Epa. Epa is agitating well. Epa is selling Biafra, showcasing Biafra too well to the members of the world. I trust Epa. I trust him. I support him. Now, on the contrary, the federal government is accusing of violent crime in the southeast. I have never seen Epa committed any violent crime. I have not even set my eyes on Epa before. 
Everybody is busy doing his normal business in Finland. Federal government is looking at Epa, accusing him of many things. I have never seen Epa for the first time commit any sin, any crime in Nigeria. Simon Epa is a what a Finland citizen, law abiding, he respects international law. Federal government is the one that is breaking law, international laws. They went as far as Nairobi, Kenya, and the rendition now they can go back to Nigeria. It is illegal. Court condemned it locally and internationally. United Nations condemned it. Finland, they condemn it. Britain or England could never have done that because they are what? Devilish selfish country in the West that collude with this current political vagabonds in Africa to suck African resources, to suck African continent dry as well. See, Nigeria is not great, independent anymore. We were not. There was never a time Nigeria was independent. We are still under the control of this, their colonial masters, the English, the British. So, leave Nandi alone. Leave Simon alone. Nandi is what? Free. They should release him. He should go. And never can this going to be well with Nigeria. You if they, if they are from here. Giraffe to Finland. I want to remind you something. You said this is yesterday. That man is free. It's free. And it's free. And we understand that um, the federal government appealed the judgment of a court of appeal that set him free. Yes. And you are still repeating that he's free. He's free. He's free. I'm feeling how many times has he won them? He said he's going to win again. He's telling the whole world that he has even won, that he's going to win them again. Are you listening to me? So, what are, why are you talking about appealing? Is it because their, their salary has now been increased to 60 million by Tinubu, so that they will keep on rigging and rigging and rigging and giving for five judgments in favor of Tinubu, a president that did not win. See, let me tell you, you will not have court in Nigeria. There is no court in Nigeria. There is no court in. See, if our electoral process is not changed, there will be no good election in Nigeria. This coming election is in a mess. It is good, better for Nigerians to sit at home any day there is election because with this current electoral what law, we are not going anywhere. Court is with Tinubu, court is with APC, court is their what the domestic kitchen where they prepare for the eats, thereby employing the whole judges, lawyers, magistrates as their cook in the in their in the kitchen that prepare food for them. Court. Is the domestic home. Thank you very much, Mr. Abu. Wow, because when you know, I'm a little bit of 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 a little bit a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of and take over Mazinam Dikano's position. Everything you have done will work against me. But if I have not thought about it, and if I have not planned to destroy the thing Mazinam Dikano have done, everything you have done for the past one year, the juju and the, all the native doctors you have from China and Waru to Chike Dosiha, all these native doctor, both the one they went to in Benue State, all the things you have done there will go back to you between now and December. Including the one that you use for dog to do. Where they told you that after seven days, Samanakpa will die. And the, all the native doctors you have, from China and Waru to Chike Dosiha, all these native doctor, both the one they went to in Benue State, all the things you have done there will go back to you between now and December. Including the one that you use for dog to do. Where they told you that after seven days, Samanakpa will die. This is the native doctor, both the one they went to in Benue State. All the things you have done there will go back to you between now and December. Including the one that you use for dog to do.
uh, Lolo, Lolo, Norma say, say that uh, the gospel is sinking inside her medical Ubulangata. Do you know why I repeat that, please? A lot of people doesn't know that these DOS people, they took four dogs, dog, onketa. They buried the dogs. They killed the dogs to kill this man. Manonya kaya deocha. Emwili hene meyano. The kind of man, see the kind of man these people want to kill. Do you hear when he is telling you four dogs? They, they, they kill dogs, they kill cows, they kill goats, they kill ants, they kill lizard, they kill uh, crocodile, they kill every other thing to make sacrifice, including human being, just to, to, to take away to take away Simon Banjoko out of the way for just because he want to give us freedom yeah all these things you are hearing here are things that has happened though not the one that you i am not bringing the one that does not happen we are bringing the one that has happened evidences are are you getting it because when you read bible read bible you compare bible to what happened now some Israelites betrayed their own people as well before they get their own freedom. These are the people who betrayed our struggle and they killed four dogs to kill this man. Some of us know when 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 they they they, they try to catch him, Monyakaya daughter, Biafra is a spirit. We are five 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 vision and we are delivering this gospel. According to how Chukul Kabiyama ordered, ordered us to deliver it. And we are showing our faces because we know what we are doing. Chukul Kabiyama is our strength. That's why we are doing what we are doing. We continue. Four dogs. And ye, the juju and the, all the native doctors you have, from China and Waru to Chike Dozia, all these native doctors, both the one they went to in Benue State, all the things you have done there will go back to you between now and December. Including the one that you use for dog to do. When they told you that after seven days, Samanakpa will die. This is, the, this is the seventh month. I didn't die. But the native doctor assured you The native doctor assured you that don't worry. After seven days, Simon Ekpa will die. Did I die? I am here. This is the seventh month now you went to that native doctor. I am still here. The one they call Udeje, Udeje, Udeje Kenda Musu, you used two million to go and do juju for Simon Ekpa to die. That Simon Ekpa want to kill you. The money you should use to do something else, use it to do juju. Did I die? But he will come. And make audio. Madam Bridget is sponsoring him. They will give him some more money to give people back home. He will be making noise. Udeje Kenda Musu, you said you have killed a lot of people using Aroshi, the people that are owing you, Nigan Hane made drug business in South America. You have killed a lot of people, according to you. Oye to Naroshi Iboya, Oye to Naroshi Iboya, Arosha Ho Bugum. It to come Naroshi. If that as that Arosha it will have not killed me, he will turn back to you and he will gonna do with you. Believe me. Oh, Oku Oku the Arosha on you go, Ebesa Manakpano. Because all James is too quick. James Chukwike, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I don't know how many people who knows about this message that is here. I don't know about how many people. There is nothing YouTube didn't do for me to remove this message. And I'm playing it here again. 
because this is the we are this is this message i would make this i would do this message like three times before it will finish we understand what we understood very very well what happened in that other place four dogs they killed the four dogs and the, the, the native doctor gave seven days for him to die <laughs> hey mnk chibo exactly um okay on as james chema i wanted i watched him live yes now yeah yes we watched it live all these things are real all these things are real and this is the history of biafra are you getting it because it is good for one to know history it is good for you to know what happened so that I draw God yes in the him at that time God have used DOS to create history do you see our PM on we pick on when a message or with the other day there is a message he brought out the other day where his lips are red he said he want these propagandas to continue because these propagandas yeah these propagandas they are doing good job oh. Yeah? because when they do their propaganda they will promote you they will tell you what you have forgotten but how is it they will use their their face will be used to the negative part of the story he, 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 his, his lips was red he said propaganda people you people should carry this one on they nobody carried it up because they know now all these things are tea stress that happened for Biafra in Biafra before we get to where we are now. Helsinki declaration last year. Helsinki, all these things are history that happened, which our upcoming generation is going to listen to. They are going to read the book. Do you see our PM? Anytime he will say that he will write a book, he will write a book. Are you getting it? He will write a book. These are history. You know, politics and the history, religion are the same thing. It is here you can be able to make history. If there is no politics, you will not be here. In all these people you see inside Bible, Abraham, all of them are politicians. But it depends on how you serve. This is Biafran gospel. And this is 555 vision. Preaching Biafran gospel. And who can tell me that I am not preaching Biafran gospel here? This is what happened and how Biafran struggle has been going on. This message is there, un untouched, unpreached. In case other people like Apostle, I see one Apostle here. This apostle, the people that preach, you can listen to it, you bring out your own imagination. The same way you have deeper life, you have assemblies of God, you have on the Bible is like a bush, it's like a forest. What you hear here, what you hear in this place, the inspiration you get, you carry it. That's why we call it the African gospel. When good man want to analyze this video now, good man will give a different version of this video altogether. You understand now? If 247 want to analyze this video, he will give it a different level altogether. That is why it is gospel. And I am preaching this gospel with the video. So you are hearing it. Don't be surprised. 100 years to come, people will be reading Bible because we know that Biafra will have their own Bible. 100 years to come, 200 years to come, because Biafra is a religion. We have the certificate now, and we can talk and preach. Diana Agundibe, I have not missed any of his message. Yes, it's 2019. Thank you, thank you, because this is history, and it is good to keep our memory alive. If they ask you a question, you know what to answer. We go on. 
we go on all the things you have done from tonight agama pinyo kuya can't forget that now where can i keep here abronono i will close i will off your light from this night You see, a lot of things has been happening and going on. I have been observing and keeping quiet for a lot, a long time. And you know, I will be coming every now and then when I feel it is the right time to respond to these criminals in IPUB. I will come and respond to them. Everything I have said today shall come to pass. And because from now to December, those of you who have gone to native doctor to do juju against me, all that juju will go back to you. Except that I, all the pronouncements I have made that I am guilty of any of them. We are going to start from here. And I believe I have responded just very briefly. And let me make it very clear that all of these people that are making threat against autopiloted members, we know your families as well. If you threaten any member of IPOB autopilot, threaten their family members back home, we know your own family as well. And no matter what, if we tow that line, whatever action we are going to take, God and the gods of the land will justify it. So anybody who is thinking that I have taken his or her name to do juju i didn't do that go and check yourself all the places where you have put your hand trying to fight simon ekpa they are haunting you back every places you have gone to trying to bring simon ekpa they are now after you it is back to sender because my hands are clean i have never ever thought of anybody i've never uh, in fact in all this while since Mazin Andikano was kidnapped, I have never one day start thinking bad about anybody except those who have been doing evil. <clears throat> and everything I think about them is how to defeat them. And we're defeating them. And my own pronouncement is not no. I am not the type that will come to social media and start swearing and making incantation. That is why I have always asked, before you attack me, you go and ask questions. Before you attack me, before you blackmail me, you ask questions. Because after that, you will never remain the same. The one the coaching us and Waru is wondering, why is it that all the juju they are doing, nothing is happening to Simon Ekpa? Why will something happen to me? I don't even know that you people existing when it comes to juju. You want Samanepa to run mad? You want Samanepa to do this? What, are, what has Samanepa done to you? I am warning you people. We are entering a very dangerous phase of Biafra struggle. And we do not want any distraction from today. And I know that some of you are coming to do everything to distract the template 
we step by step what we want to do to get Biafra. So that next year, of course, God will never allow you to win. You will say, oh, we said it. We said it. Uh, he didn't get the Biafra. You see, he has failed. That is what people want to do. But let me tell you, not even one million of you will stop Biafra from coming next year. I am telling you the fact. Not one million of you will stop Biafra from coming. Today, today, we have countries that are now with us. And the effect will be felt very soon. We don't want any distraction from today. And I know that some of you are coming to do everything to distract the template we step by step what we want to do to get Biafra. So that next year, of course, God will never allow you to win. You will say, oh, we said it. We said it. Uh, he didn't get the Biafra. You see, he has failed. That is what people want to do. But let me tell you, not even one million of you will stop Biafra from coming next year. I am telling you the fact. Not one million of you will stop Biafra from coming. Today, today, we have countries that are now with us. And the effect will be felt very soon in Nigeria. Believe me. The effect of alliances we are going into with countries will be felt very soon. This is not a joke. If you were not serious fighting for Biafra freedom, I am serious. <clears throat> if you check the, the title of this program today, it is Template of the Biafran United States of Biafra. You see the template because there is a saying that says, Rome is not built in a day. It is template. One thing very, very significant to our PM, he says that restoring Biafra is a template, not a miracle. But to restoring Biafra, when Biafra is finally restored, it will become a miracle. Restoring this level we are now is a template you have to follow until the miracle will come to fulfillment. Because of the restoration of Biafra is the last miracle that will happen to mankind. The kingdom of God on this planet Earth. But you need a template to follow it up. Uh, 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 um, Diana Agondeba says, he has been following this. She has been following this message. It was 2019. Do you see 2019 when he mentioned that this is template? And when we started this program, or well, you can check my background here now, you will see the template here now. Because our 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 umbrella now is gold. Everything about Biafra has been restored. Everything has been restored. The template is what we are following. He says, countries, countries are interested in Biafra and they are giving us liaison offices anywhere we are, anywhere we go, all over the world. We are preaching Biafran gospel. We will keep on preaching Biafran gospel until our last day. People will still come and they carry it up just like this gospel of Israel is going on. The paradise on earth. The paradise on earth. That is why it is showing gold. Countries. Good man, good man, good man. Thank you. Lolo, Norma, thank you. We continue because we have to put things inside our people. We need to put things inside our people. I am very, very serious. If your free, Biafra freedom fighting was a joke, I am real. 
Today I can beat my chest and wait for Mazenam the Kano to come out. Why they were busy castigating Simon Ekpa? Simon Ekpa was busy engaging, engaging countries, engaging nations. And today we are having a result. They say they do underground job. Other, our own underground job is what I'm telling you now. We don't hide it. The only thing I'm not going to tell you is which country. They will continue to remain anonymous until Biafra is declared. Huh. But I'm telling you, and I'm assured. Do you hear something? Because you know, every day you read Bible, you will get a different inspiration. He says here now eh, that the countries who that is supporting Biafra will continue to remain anonymous until Biafra is declared. Do you listen to his message three months ago? He says that when Biafra is finally declared, those countries who is supporting Biafra will then come for official recognitions. It is a template. Our sister said it was 2019. Diana Agundiaba. 2019 program. He says, in case people that doesn't hear hear him, let us go, dear. If your free, Biafra freedom fighting was a joke, I am real. Let's Today know. I can beat my chest and wait for Mazenam the Kano to come out. Why they were busy castigating Simon Ekpa? Simon Ekpa was busy engaging, engaging countries, engaging nations. And today we are having a result. They say they do underground job. Our own underground job is what I'm telling you now. We don't hide it. The only thing I'm not going to tell you is which country. They will continue to remain anonymous until Biafra is declared. But I'm telling you, and I'm assuring you today, that very soon, you are going to feel the effect of some of the country that are now backing Biafra. So when I say that Biafra is coming next year, and when I say I know the date Biafra will come, don't fight it. Do you think it is easy? <clears throat> Do you think it is easy for somebody to wake up and tell you 140 days to Biafra, 139 days to Biafra, 138 days to Biafra? You think it is easy? <laughs> Uh, our sister or uh, Diana Bonwana, Diana, he says he, she wrote something here. She says, "When I when our PM told my our leader Mazen Nandekano, if you don't have anything on that table you are using to fight for Biafra, tell me, I will bring something and put on top of that table." Omereme ko no omereme. This is gospel. This is what they call gospel. Biafran gospel. Mazen Nandekano has more than 17 million followers all over the world. And you are not in the street. Now I got all the places. Blue flag. We've been jumping up and down. The Nigerian, Nigerian police begin to kill us every now and then. Nobody is asking for justice of those people until Simon Eba went to Germany to eat yam. Is it not true? This is Biafran gospel. Until he went to Germany to eat yam, IPOBs beat Equerem Mado for coming to Germany to eat yam. And from there, Simon Eba then 
ask IPOBs, why should you people lay your hand on an elderly man? Is it not how his own story come out? Nah. Are we not preaching this gospel? <laughs> Are we not preaching this gospel? Grace on Mubaya. Exactly. Now, he went to Germany to eat yam. In Germany, the spirit of Biafra arrested him. How does the spirit of Biafra arrested Simon Eba? He came up and said that our leader Mazen Nambekano has to apologize. That is the gospel. And Yanezo is everything on the internet. That is the gospel. Anybody that is here, is it not the gospel? Support what I said now in your comment section. That is the gospel. Dear spirit of Biafra arrested him. And the one thing we came to observe is if Biafra struggle is something that someone can stop. If Biafran struggle is something one can stop, Simon Eber is the person that would have stopped Mazen Namdekan. We do know the reason. The reason is in the sense that Nigerian government has done everything they can do to bring him down. They have not been able to bring him down. Obasanjo says, you people has made a great mistake by kidnapping Mazen Namdekano. If you people would know what to do, or if you ask for his opinion, he would have told you people early to go for that boy in Finland. That that guy in Finland is the person that will bring Biafra, that will destroy Nigeria. Is it not true? That time, you know, Obasan job onichi, onichi hobo. Absolutely correct. BMO, absolutely correct, my dear lovely brother. He went to Germany. That is where the spirit of Biafra arrested him. And if Biafra struggle is something human being can stop, it is Simon Eber would have stopped Nandekan and the Biafra. But the spirit of Biafra arrested him in Germany with Ekwere Mad, where he went to eat yam. And he made a statement that our leader should come and apologize. From there, IPOB say, go and listen to the message of Mazen Nandaka and what he is saying. Is it not true? This is the gospel of Biafra. And when he listened to it, he said that this guy is saying the truth, that even he himself has predicted Biafra since 2009. But he is also waiting for the voice of Messiah. He is also waiting the Messiah to come in order for him to surface. And now you hear him when he is telling you that he has been studying Nigeria on how to destroy them. Now he, they have entered his own trap. Is it not true? This is the African gospel. What our children, children, upcoming generation in the one million years to come, we preach concerning the Afra. He says, what, our, what did our sister say here? He says, if you don't have anything on your table, tell me, I will bring something there. Then, Mazen Nambekano took him up. They had a meeting with Son Dibo and uh, Kuiki, which is Simon Eba. Four of them had a secret meeting. And he showed them what, what he has. Mazen Nambekano turned back and said, Biafra, he is now planning to go and lead in front. But listen to this man. He has something to give you. Now, that thing our leader doesn't have on the table, that is what you are saying today, the template to restore Biafra. We are preaching Biafra gospel, and what will happen? We are preaching the gospel. This is it. Tell me how Biafra, how her Bible was written. Is it not the same way? Abraham, is he not a, a, a son of somebody? Moses, is he not son of, some, son of somebody? David is son of somebody. 
all those people you are reading in the Bible, all of them came from women. And we are preaching Biafran gospel. This is 555. Hello, my wonderful people. As we are finished watching this interesting video, please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please remember to subscribe put on your notification bell share this video and remain blessed